Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for the first week of the new year, at least the first full week of the new year. Let's see who's free this week and which four champions I'm going to recommend. Free this week, we'll see Caitlyn, Irelia, Maokai, Nami, Nunu, Oriana, Rek'Sai, Rise, Tom Kench, and Varus. For my first recommendation, gonna give it to Varus. I know you guys see me play him in the streams, I enjoy playing him quite a bit. He's really, really fun in mid lane. You build him as that poke, um, poke machine, really, with your uh, Q. It's very, 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 very good. It also makes lots of people mad, as we found out, too, in the last stream, as the Fizz was raging about how broken it is. It, it's very strong. I'm not going to argue that, but it is dodgeable, too. So a little bit of skill um, behind learning Varus can actually go a really, really long way. Um, also has a really, really good ultimate. It's missed quite a lot, but it's very impactful in a big team fight. Um, locking down sections of an enemy team over a de uh, like a delayed amount of time is kind of a way to stop teams from engaging in a successful manner, you could say. So, Varus is very fun to play. He's strong at the moment too, so you should try him out because he's free this week. As for my second champion recommendation for this week, I'm going to give that one to Tom Kench. Kench is still very strong. I will say I have seen him played less lately though, which is kind of interesting. He hasn't received any real changes. Maybe it's because he's not the newest champion to the league, but um, Kench is still a very, very strong champion. I know he did get like that one tiny tweak about range, but honestly, for what he does, he still does it very well. I think the biggest broken aspect of Kench is once he does get some defensive stats, his gray health, which then you can reactivate and basically make you have to kill him again, um, makes him just a pain in the butt to, ev to either kill him or like if he runs away with somebody in his mouth, it's just also super annoying. It's a very, very good thing. Also, he can stun people, he can then eat them and kind of carry them away from their team. Not really fast, but he can still you know lock down a full target for a duration. Um, still not the biggest fan of his ultimate, but overall he's just, you know, powerful enough. He's got the slow, he's got the stun when you use it, you've got the consume, you keep people safe. You also just never die. So, all those things make him a very good champion. He's free, you should try him out this week. My third recommendation for the week, I'm gonna give that one to Irelia. Haven't played her myself in a little while. Um, she's always been a solid top laner. We've seen her actually rise up in, um, power, I would say, just a little bit. She never really receives many changes. I know the um, better nerf Irelia thing is something you hear quite often, but I think she's only ever been touched in her many years of being in League, only like three times tops. Like, it's seriously, she's hardly touched with any kind of changes. Um, she's a solid type laner, always will be. She's got great sustain, um, or at least a little bit of uh, built-in sustain. She's got true damage, which is always fantastic, and once she gets one damage item, you can essentially build her straight tank and still be incredibly relevant. Not to mention, she's got a super, super strong passive, which makes her always a threat. So if you've never played her, or you're a little intimidated by her, maybe because you haven't bought her and you don't want to put that uh, IP or RP at her, try her out because she's free. It's a good week to try that. And my final recommendation for the week, I'm going to give it over to Oriana. Um, I like Oriana. I know I've recommended her in previous weeks before. She is a very impactful mid laner in so many ways. She can have good damage output if she does get the items required for good damage output. Um, her base numbers are fine, but they scale pretty well too. The big thing about Oriana is being able to command protect people and to also shockwave um, in crucial moments of a team fight. Also, um, ball delivery system with Oriana is always very, very effective. If you have anybody who can dive on your team into a team fight, if you can give them command protect to take it in and then shockwave them. Um, we've seen tons of huge plays with this, with it was Malphite, or really anybody who just wants to dive into a team, it's always great being able to protect them while they're also delivering all of your damage to the enemy team. Um, the wombo combo is fantastic. It's always really fun to execute too. So if you're actually looking for like a somewhat fun play to do or just looking for some really fun, just mechanical weirdness, um, not that she's like crazy, but it's always fun. She's just a little bit different and really impactful in a lot of different ways. So try her out because she's free as well this week. Those are the champions that are free, all 10 of them. Obviously, try out any of the ones that you think you are interested in. Those are just the four I recommend for this week. A lot of good champions, honestly, in this rotation. So try them out. Um, if there's a box around them, that means you can click on it. It will take you to a build. But other than that, I wish you the best of luck on the Fields of Justice.